we want to train variability in bending and in lifting in this case as well. So can I get you now to do a few lifts where you're going towards the left a little bit? And again, I might demonstrate a few first. Um, I can demonstrate these where you're going around to the side. And I might even demonstrate like the body is designed and the, the spine is designed to bend and twist and move and do all these sorts of different movements. I mean, we wouldn't have evolved over thousands and thousands of years for our spine not to do those things and for us to be in very straight lines. So we need to train that way if we want to do that in real life, you know, yeah. train how you play. So try to do a few lifts in a variety of different ways. And I want you to do a couple now that are faster as well. Good. How does that feel for you? Good. 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 So we're building confidence. We're expanding that circle of variability. Often, you know, people are, are very concerned about, oh, I've got to keep my toes in front of my, my uh, knees and uh, tracking over my toes and keep everything straight line. And, and that's good if you, that's all you want to do. But, and you'll get really good at doing that. But life isn't full of straight lines. Life is unpredictable. And, and if you just train that way and then life happens, you're exposing yourself to a load that you're potentially not as trained for. So therefore we want to train in these variety of different ways. Um, so progressing into different lifts and, and again, try to make this as, as specific as possible for that individual. So if, if it is picking up toys, I mean, I've had, we've, we've got toys in the waiting room. So I've put all these toys around and got people to lift them up and like do that as part of the session. Cause the more that you can generalize that in the session, the more that they can then practice that at home and generalize that um, at, at home as well. Mm -hmm.